Well, I was just strolling through YouTube today briefly while I was getting my oil change and I see the doomsday prophets are still at it again. Manuel Johnson, I saw his thumbnail saying something about stock market trash in October. You know, they always got these doomsday messages. But I just came out the grocery store and I was thinking about how, remember they were talking about that we were basically gonna be standing in soup lines and cause there was gonna be no type of food and there was gonna be this all of this stuff that's totally uh, shelves are bare, banks froze up, this, all of this stuff. You remember that? So according to the so-called prophets, we should be in soup lines and, and, and eating, you know, low uh, bread of, or, or bark off a tree as they did in World War II that I remember that the, uh, uh, during Stalingrad, during the Russian war there, uh, the uh, Russians or so that the war was so bad they were eating bark soup. I remember that making soup. So according to them, we supposed to be so bad off. And I go into the stores and see uh, Costco's and everybody's shopping and I, you know, not a hundred percent of everything's there, but most things are there. So I was just, I, I wanted to show you I went to pick up some of my favorite little, you know, just a few items I figure. You know, I, I, this brand right here, I don't know if you guys got a Meyer in your state or for some of you where you are. We have a store called Meyer here and these are like really good. Me and the wife likes these, butter braid pretzels. They have a butter, their brand, I mean, there's a name brand ones that are out there that are pretty good, uh, but these are the best where we found flavor wise. Um, and then we, we found maybe a newer one that has a hint of the butter I can't think of that brand, but they're on TV or so. But I got my snacks yeah, right there in the store. But, you know, remember the profits. We weren't supposed to be having anything. I went and picked up, uh, I like to get my vitamins at this store. Uh, um, here's my cinnamon that I take that helps great for blood sugar. For those of you that don't know, uh, it's a good deal. Buy one, get one free at the store. I take my listatine, which is good for... Uh, uh, fighting off, uh, you know, infections and this, anything like that. Uh, you know, everything, everything's there. Um, and so I got one, of, I was waiting to get my little cereal right here. I, I get, I love cereal. You, you will make fun of me if you look at my cabinet. I've got various cereals. I eat according to my mood. I mix my cereals, a lot of people. Uh, I found somebody else that actually does that as well. But I love my cereals. So, and I have right here, uh, cereal plenty of cereal in stock uh everything i mean bananas galore what else i got over here well i didn't pick up anything uh a whole lot but you know got my bananas let me show you. well let me get them out the bag but bananas right here everything i mean i just you know i'm laughing to myself because these guys always gotta tell you something's gonna happen bad doomsday all of these things and now you know you would think that the end of the world is tomorrow according to these people when we know that we serve a god that takes care of the birds and all of the the animals and all of the everybody's being taken care of how much more as scripture says that he's going to take care of us and we we're not going to we're not to be uh, scraping around and wondering where's our next meal coming from and all of that, the Lord takes care of us. That's the great thing. And though, you know, we had a hiccup with the supply deal there, and we know things, manufacturing, I've worked in manufacturing before. So I know how it is when you have to ramp things up and you're trying to catch up with production and getting things going around the clock. I mean, folks have been working hard trying to get this stuff going, and you got everybody, and there's a lot of deals to do it. There's a lot of price gouging. We know that for sure that's going on with some of this stuff. So they're just price gouging it now. Now they're just, you know, some of this would get some of my nerves where you have to get the price of the item. You gotta buy two or more. We got a store here that they, you gotta buy four or more to get the actual price. I mean, come on, and you just want, I mean, I don't need, I don't have a, I mean, I'm an empty nester. I don't need a house full of whole lot of stuff like that. So they, they I, they're trying, I don't know what's behind them trying to get you to buy more like that in order to get the price. Otherwise, you're stuck with a higher price. So a bag of Doritos is going to cost you, you know, five bucks instead of you got to two for seven or so, like stuff like that. So, 
Uh, it, it's just funny to me because I just go to the store and I look at people online talking about, oh, it's just oh, so bad. Everything's this. Oh, my gosh. My 401k. I was listening to people talking crap about, you know, these folks that pull their monies out the 401k every time it panic. That's you. You're that's dumb. You don't pull your money out just because the market is tumbling a little bit. That's the, I mean, and that's the problem. I had an old friend of mine that he pulled his money out like that and was the worst. He regretted it because he got hit with taxes and he was really sorry because he didn't really understand the ramifications of it and things. So there's, you just got to understand the what's going on. Things get, you know, if you want to be high risk as far as with your uh, uh, um, investments, then you know the higher risk you go, the more chance you take, the more you could lose. So be wise. Do all of these things. But don't listen to these prophets that are telling you that the end of the world is tomorrow. These folks are liars. These folks uh, don't make any sense with some of the stuff they come this uh this Manuel Johnson, for example, where he he's he's there with uh Bo Pannoni or however to say that guy's name, that Bo got mad at me and, and made a smart comment of you guys that's been following me for a while. Remember he said something because I called him out. Because he's he's supposed to be the financial guru with gold and all of these things are supposed to happen all the time. And you listen to these guys, you'll be broke. Don't follow these folks. Be smart. You got any extra money uh, right now? If you got any money, a little spare that you can tuck away, CDs are an excellent thing right now. So they're paying, the, you know, the CD rates. And my credit union, I think I, I my credit union, the CD rate is uh, 5.35 or 5 point, uh, somewhere in there, close to 5, five maybe 5.5. 5. That's pretty good. Minimum investment, 500 bucks. So you have plenty of uh, 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 places where you can park some money that you can allow it to grow without high risk or anything like that. There's different avenues. Don't listen to these guys still talking about the crypto stuff, all of this stuff where you can find your money lost, gone, and all of the silliness. Be smart. Be wise. All of this, these folks will mess your life up. Because you know why one of the reasons why they will really mess your life up? It's because they don't, they're not serving the Lord. They're serving Satan. And what is Satan's goal? To kill, steal, and destroy. So if they're being used by Satan, what better way for them? To, he, he's going to use them to destroy your life. So you listen to them about investments. You listen to them about bad, dumb decisions and decisions of stuff that they tell you that stuff that you should do and, and got people, why, I'm so sick of this watching numbers, this numerology stuff and all of these things and all this speaking to the dead, which is going on. We're going to be talking about some of this stuff in the future because they've got, they're really going down this road with this numerology and this speaking to the dead. A lot of people are talking about speaking to so-called angels a lot and all, speaking to all of these entities in the middle of the night and all of this stuff. This ain't nothing but the devil got these folks around his finger and getting ready to flick them right off a cliff and they don't even realize it. So we'll talk about it. I'm going to go home, put my stuff up, my groceries up, my snack, you know. Enjoy your shopping. Don't listen to these people. Don't feel like you got to take a, 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 a build a, a bomb shelter of some sort and store a bunch of canned goods and water and a bunch of seeds and, and, and for all of this stuff because the end is tomorrow. Don't don't fall for the okie doke. Okay, so we'll talk if, and again and we'll continue to punch Satan right in between them chops. Evangelism for God is the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing, hit like, coming along for the journey because we'll continue moving forward. Until the next video, take care. God bless.